Hey everyone, this is Demi Dunks on Packs back with another video. Uh, so on Friday I went to an FNM at my local game store, or I guess one of them because there's a few in the area, and I played Jump Start, and uh, came in first, three zero, won an Ikoria Fat Pack for first place. Uh, for anyone wondering, my Jump Start packs were Wizards with Talrand as the uh, alternate. And under the sea, with the whale that makes uh, the opponent's attack. And I honestly don't think I had that great of a pair. But um, I got lucky, had good matchups against non-aggressive decks. And I uh, was able to scry, because I had like eight cards that scryed my way into my bombs. And Talran carried a lot of my games. So, uh, yeah, I got a fat pack. Or whatever it's called now. A Ikoria bundle box thing. So inside. We got. 10 packs of Ikoria. A promo. Colossification. 20 foil lands. 20 regular lands. Bonus spin down thing. And then some crap. And a box. So uh, yeah. Let's open it up. Do I still have a knife in over here? I think I brought it downstairs to open a board game the other day. There we go, I finally got through the, the plastic. I do not recommend using your teeth, but I left my knife downstairs like a rocket scientist, so I'm using my teeth today. Also, if, uh, if you guys want to see the deck I had in uh, in the sealed event for Jumpstart, or if you guys want to see some of my commander decks, uh, let me know in the comments below, and I'd be more than happy to share them. I have black-white clerics that I made before. There was a legendary cleric. And uh, my favorite is Lord Windgrace. Uh, with the focus is on mass land destruction. And uh, taking advantage of the game through that. With my all-time favorite card, Death Cloud. So uh, here's the fat pack thingy. It's got the fat pack here. It's got a rectangle box. Can't, not the best camera for this. I'm not going to lie. But, you know... Such as life. Let me see if I can just my camera real quick. I'll put it more, more up. Not too far up, but up. It's already zoomed out as far as it goes. But you know, it's a couple, couple inches from, from the product there. So there's that. I'm gonna open up this sleeve because there's an artwork on the inside of it. They always do that where they put a cool artwork. It's the uh, Gem Razor, I think. Pretty cool. I've never put any of these up or anything, but they're uh, legitimately not that bad compared to some of their other products. Okay, I think this is just a storage box. Based on shaking it, I can tell you this is just a crappy piece of cardboard. So, I'll put that over on the side with that. Then we have, uh, oh, got a Join Vivian piece of paper. You could mutate your creatures, you know. Mutate was a pretty cool mechanic. I'm glad it's basically only in Ikoria. It's in one of the commander decks that came out around the time Ikoria did too, but I think it's a mechanic that they could bring back in the future, but I wouldn't want it in the same constructed rotation as um, Ikoria because Mutate could get out of hand uh, pretty realistically. But I would like to see support for that in the future. We got a slightly bigger than normal spin down. Can't see on the camera, but it is here. Here's the back of a Pokemon card, which is the size of a magic card. And uh, you know, it's about a third, third of it, so probably like two inches. Spin down. What do we get? We got an eleven. I'm gonna slide it over. It rolled off camera like a genius. There's an eleven. So I'm gonna put this aside. I mean I never liked spin down die, but if you're stuck in a pinch and you don't have a pen and paper with you, it's better than nothing. Actual nothing. We got a foil classification pack here, so we'll open this up. We got the uh, foil classification. Then some foil lands. Looks like three plains, three islands, three swamps, three mountains... 
three forests, and then one of each. <laughs> so, uh, four of each, but they put in some order that only Einstein himself could decipher. Then we, oh, I made a mess with the foils and stuff. Let me fix it so I don't bother myself, give myself OCD in here. Cool. Then we got the non-foil lands. I don't have a purpose of opening these, so they'll stay right there. And then, this is, this is what you guys came here for. Ten packs of Ikoria. Look at that. So I just looked up the price guide uh, on TCG Player, because that's what uh, most of my local stores use. Except one uses Star City for some reason. Even though Star City tries to uh, gouge a lot of prices. It's life, you know. You deal with it. But um, the most expensive non-collector's card is Shark Typhoon. So we're going for Shark Typhoons, just a rare. Hopefully you get one. It's like 12, 13 bucks right now. And my favorite part of this is I don't have to hide codes like I do in the Pokemon ones. So here we go. I'll put these over here so they don't get in the way of my hand. Blazing Volley. It's a decent draft card. <laughs> Blade Banish, another decent draft card. Keep Safe. Dark Bargain. Blister Spit Gremlin, not a goblin. Greater Sandworm. Oh, Cycling was in the set. I love Cycling. Uh, Essence Symbiote. Checkpoint Officer. Vertilid. Good reprint. Uh, Patagia Tiger. And we got Uncommons. Will of the All Hunter. Bastion of Remembrance is a good card for Commander. It's a good uh, card to have as like a one of sitting around. Uh, Sonoma's Hellbender, and then we got a, com uh, a companion, first pack. Karuga, the Macro Sage, Windscarred Crag, and then Waste of Space. So, we got a Karuga, uh, companion. Uh, companions were basically slaughtered for me when they made it, so you had to pay three to put them from your companion, or from your side deck to your hand, instead of just casting it. But, um, this one's not the worst one, so... Not too bad. Got another pack of Ikoria. I don't know why I showed you guys. Like, it was going to be a different pack. They're all Ikoria. Thriving Otter. Mutual Destruction. There was, like, a Flash sub-theme, and uh, it did not work. <laughs> there was the Rogue Uncommon and, like, Slither Wisp. Uh, Spell Eater Wolverine. Here's a Flash card. Adaptive Shimmerer. Pretty decent to mutate on, for what it's worth. Here's Phase Dolphin. Sneaky Dolphin. Um, brush meat, bush meat poacher, cloud piercer, honey mammoth. Oh, okay. So you could just get the random alternate arts in this too. I had one in uh, one of my older openings uh, for the mythic of all things. Got a vulpakeet. It's kind of cool. I'll set that aside. Not the best card, but it's cool to have that artwork, I guess. Ram through, and for uncommons, wingspan mentor. Horn Bash Mentor. Could we get Triple Mentor? Flame Spell. Wah, wah. And ooh, Luminous Brood Moth. This was like the third most expensive card in the set. It's like eight or nine bucks right now at time of recording. So definitely not bad. A beast of a card in draft. Probably beast of a card in sealed. Um that I wouldn't be surprised if this saw constructed play somewhere. At very worst, little Timmy's going to put this in their commander deck and be very happy about it. So, not a bad card. Mountain, and then another waste of space. Pack number three. Oh, uh, there's something I want to say real quick. Wizards, if for some reason someone from Wizards is watching this, don't print this. This if People that play Magic basically already know about Arena. You might get one person out of every thousand. But... You're just wasting a card. Give us a token. Give us something. You could put a token with the advertisement for Arena on the back. I'm sure everyone will be happier about it. Got a Heightened Reflexes. Great draft card. Gives it first strike permanently. Coordinated Charge. My favorite type of draft card. It had Cycling. I always forced the Cycling deck and lost. Frost Veil Ambush. Suffocating Fumes. Oh, I love drafting this card. Ferocious Tigerilla. Bristling Boar. Manned Serral. This is a card at the start of the set. Not, a, not many people are drafting, but when they realize it's one of the best bodies you can mutate on this early, like early on, one or two drops. This card saw a lot of play. 
So um, I'm glad this was drafted highly. People understood its value. Just like this card, Farfinder. Every time there's a... Uh... Holy crap, I can't remember the other ones. Rune Servitor. And there's a 3-mana 1-1 one -one flyer from like original Zendikar they brought back. These cards are always great. They get you a basic. Just like Civic Wayfinder. Adventurous Impulse. Solid Footing. We've got Uncommons. Stormwild Capridor. I was watching my friend uh, draft on Arena, and his opponent played this, and then Divine Arrowed it twice. And he basically just lost on the spot. It was hilarious. Sanctuary Lockdown. Another card just like Bastion that I think is going to be a good... Just one of them sitting around in case you build a commander deck with it. Definitely not a bad card. Proud Wild Bonder. And then this card's an actual bomb, like almost unbeatable thing. You remove it that turn or you lose the game in, in uh, Limited. So love this card. Quartz Ward Crasher. He just crash, smash, 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 and make, make some dinosaurs. Probably very cringy, but that's fine. Tranquil Cove and. Ah, to represent all of the things my guys have. Great. At least there's a 1-1 one -one counter. That one's relevant, I guess. Unless you have the Space Godzilla or whatever it is. The uh, something golem, citrulline golem. Three mana, three, three artifact creature that gains a random keyword at the start of, uh, start of combat cards not super relevant for those but there are some cards that have uh stuff like heightened reflexes and things convolute durable coil bug raking claws thriving otter blitz leech blisters fake gremlin i don't i never know this card's name boot nipper survivors bond helica glider oh we got Generals Enforcer. This guy's randomly pretty good in Commander because he gives your Commander indestructible if he's a human. Not not that bad of an effect. And also exiling cards from graveyards, randomly super relevant. Polywog Symbiote. Reptilian Reflection, one of my favorite draft cards. Mythos of Brokos. Pretty cool. This one's pretty good. You get uh, two permanent cards back, and if you also pay blue and black to cast it, you... Uh, Intomb. I think it's called Intomb. <laughs> I don't know why I can't think of the name of the card. I think it's Intomb. Search your deck for a card, put it in graveyard. Not bad. Oh, we got a foil. Wingspan Mentor foil. Pretty cool. Island and a token. I'm excited. Dinosaur. That's also Watch Champions Rise. Cool. Cool, cool, cool. I think we're like halfway there. Or is that pack four? I'm going pretty slow. I'm kind of just enjoying it. I haven't opened a fat pack in like a year or two. I don't buy them, but I, I've played fat pack wars at the locals before and stuff, so I'm not a big bat, fat pack guy. I just kind of... It's different, so, you know, nice to open. Blade Banish. Capture Sphere. Mutual Destruction. Spell Eater Wolverine. Sleep a Dot. Uh, Facet Raider. Or Reader, I think. Reader. Essence Scatter. Glad this card's back in Constructed. It was a very good uh, card. Fully Grown. Savai Sabertooth. Fire Prophecy is a good card. In, uh... I've played this in Constructed. My friends don't think it's that good because it doesn't hit face. But I don't think you need to hit face with it. The fact that it gives you a little bit of card filtering makes up for that. Um, Duskfang Mentor. Easy Prey. Cunning Night Bonner is the flash card I was talking about, one of the flash energies. And a bomb in limited. <laughs> creature control with vigilance have one tap tap target creature. Good luck winning when your opponent plays this and if you don't kill it immediately. Dorma Falls and a Kraken. Whoa, Kraken. Hey, right, halfway there. I will say, even though their uh card stock quality's gone down, these packs are Difficult to open, so they're doing that right. Unlikely aid, go for blood, plummet, keep safe, durable coil bug, lava serpent, wilt, pacifism, spring claw trap or spring jaw trap, essence symbiote, and for uncommons, necropanther, really good one, 
Charge of the Forever Beast, not a bad one. Rootling Moloch. And then Bonders Enclave. Random card that we'll probably see playing Commander, you know. Not a bad one. Not a great one. It could be worse. And we got uh, another piece of crap, but, you know, put it up there with the other piece of crap. Whoosh. Fry Station or Flash Crab, because nobody actually calls it its real name. Serrated Scorpion. Good card. Raking Claws. Garrison Cat. The first Garrison Cat. Frostvale Ambush. Imposing Vantasaur. Cavern Whisper with the uh, coolish art. I like this art. It's definitely pretty cool. The showcase art. Uh, Migratory Greathorn. Sabretooth. Pouncing Shore Shark. This card's crazy in draft. Shredding Harvester, another crazy card in draft. Lord Dracus, another crazy card in draft. Everquill Phoenix, draft. The whole pack. This was this would have been a tough first pick. It would have been the Phoenix, but it would have been close. And a Foil Fire Prophecy, not bad, not bad. Dismal Backwater, and a Human Soldier token. Another pack. I don't know why I'm opening it back here. There it is, whoosh. Lurking Deadeye, or Final Sting Fairy without flying, and two more power instead. Blazing Volley, Phase Dolphin, Corpse Churn, Forbidden Friendship, Adaptive Shimmerer, Fully Grown, Full Paquit, Glimmer Bell, Adventurous Impulse, we got our first Crystal, <laughs> Ketria Crystal, Ivy Elemental, this used to be a rare, it's an uncommon in the set, Porky Parrot, and Death's Oasis. Interesting card. Swamp and Human Soldier. Overall, I'm not doing too, too bad. Did I even pull a Mythic yet? I don't think I did. Now let's pull a Mythic, boys. And girls, if girls watch. Let's get a Mythic. Let's get a Triome. Let's get something good. Gust of Wind. Suffocating Fumes. Oh, wait. I did, I did pull a Mythic. I pulled the, <laughs> the, the one that's Mothra. The... Uh, Great Moth. Okay. The Uncommons don't want to stack anymore. Dranith Stinger, my actual favorite draft card. I'll first pick this. Not over Zenith Flare, but ever everything else. Aegis Turtle. That was pretty good for me in a jump start. He blocked so much. Whisper Squad. Prickly Marmoset. Patagia Tiger. Cloud Piercer. Survivor's Bond. Marshall. Jubilant Skybonder. Flourishing Fox. Dire Tactics. Ooh. We got a uh, rare with the showcase art. Cub Warden. Not bad. Pretty cool. And Cliffs and Dino. And the final pack of Destiny. Or final pack of hopefully not crap. That's what I'm going to call it. Hopefully not crap pack. Bad news. It has crap. Almighty Bushwag. Uh, Hampering Snare. Dead Weight. Cathartic Reunion. Wingful Pterodon. Memory Leak. Uh, Moscow Gorliak, Spontaneous Flight, Blood Curl, first Blood Curl, Flycatcher's Draphid, okay, we got Savai Crystal, Exuberant Wolf Bear, oh, we got a Hemophage with uh, the cool art, pretty sweet, and our rare, the Wrong Shark, the Voracious Great Shark, it's a good shark, but it's not Shark Typhoon. And a mountain. Hey, right, we'll do a quick recap. I think we did pretty decent, honestly. After thinking about it, you know, let's put this into perspective. It was free. These are all price packs. <laughs> so, uh, Gracious Great Shock. Got a Hemo Plague. Great Shock. That's my New Jersey speaking. Hemo Plague. Cub Warden Showcase. Death's Oasis. Fire Prophecy Foil. Phoenix. Uh, Bonders Enclave. Frontland Feldar. Wingspan Mentor. Mythos, Corsair Crusher, Luminous Brood Moth, Blood Moth, and Karuga the Macro Sage. So overall, not too bad. This is uh, Demi Dunks on Packs signing off. Have a great one, everyone.